Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the Archangels Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Together with the Archangels and all the choirs of angels, let us offer unceasing praise and worship to the Father. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we, glorify we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Lord God, Heavenly, Heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ Only Begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries, both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard the loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out. Who accuses them before our God day and night? They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the whole and by the word of their testimony, love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, O Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. And they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, O Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. 
Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, You will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the belief in angels is part of our Christian faith. Both sacred scriptures and sacred tradition are clear about the existence of angels. And in the Bible, the word angel was mentioned more than 200 times, but only three were mentioned by name. And they are the ones we call as archangels, whose feast day we celebrate today. Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. The word angel came from a Greek word, angelos, which means messenger. And the chief messengers are called archangels. Angels, therefore, are messengers. St. Gregory the Great would even say that the word angel denotes more a function than a nature. To be an angel is to bring God's message. That is why in our gospel today, Jesus describes the angels as ascending and descending on the Son of Man. They come from God in order to bring God's message to humanity. And so if angels are messengers, what are the messages that they bring us? Through Saint Raphael, God tells us, I will heal you. Because that is the role depicted to us by Raphael, especially in the book of Tobit. It was Raphael who healed Tobit by restoring his sight. And so through the angel Raphael, God tells us, I come to bring you healing. My dear brothers and sisters, during this pandemic, when many people are getting sick, many people are suffering, let us beg God to send us Saint Raphael, so that through Saint Raphael, God may touch us, God may restore us, and God may give us healing. Through Saint Gabriel, God brings us the good news of hope and salvation. 
Saint Gabriel played an important role in scriptures by delivering God's message of hope and salvation to people, especially to Zechariah, when he announced to Zechariah that Elizabeth, his wife, will bear a son despite her old age and despite of being barren. And it was also Gabriel who brought to Mary the good news of salvation, that God will come to save us. And she, Mary, was chosen to be the mother of God. My dear brothers and sisters, in this time when we are bombarded with many bad news, with many discouraging news, with many fake news, in this time when social media is so full of misleading and distorted information, let us ask God to send us the Archangel Gabriel to bring us the good news. The good news that will give us joy. The good news that will give us hope. The good news that will announce salvation. And through the Archangel Michael, God assures us, I will protect you. I will defend you. For that is the role and the message of St. Michael the Archangel. In our first reading today, we heard how Michael and his angels battled against the dragon, the devil, the evil one, and prevailed over them. My dear brothers and sisters, in this time when evil seems to triumph over goodness, in this time when there are so many evil in society and in the world, in this time when it seems to be so dark, and in times of temptation, in times when we are being led to sin, let us implore God to send us St. Michael to protect us, to defend us in battle. Let us ask God to, say, to send St. Michael to the church, especially in this time when there are many forces trying to destroy and discredit the church. Let us, send, let us ask God to send St. Michael to our society, to our world, so that once again, he may battle against the evils in our society and prevail over them. My dear brothers and sisters, God sends angels to deliver us his messages. Through the archangels, God tells us, I will be your healing. I am your good news. I am your protection. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us thank God for the archangels. And let us believe in the archangels and in the angels because angels are not just for children. In fact, the more that we grow old, the more that we need the guidance of the angels and the archangels. Do you still believe in angels? Do you still believe that your angels are helping you do you still believe that angels come to deliver God's message? My dear brothers and sisters, if you believe 
that God loves you, you will believe in angels. Our prayers today are brought before the Father by the ministry of the Holy Archangels, the pure spirits of the invisible creation who constantly serve God and His people. For every petition, let us say, through the ministry of the angels, bless us, O Lord. Through the ministry of the angels, bless us, O Lord that saint michael may defend and sustain christians suffering persecution let us pray to the lord through, through the, the ministry, ministry of, of the, the angels, angels bless, bless us, us o lord. lord that those who proclaim the truth may be encouraged by the care of saint gabriel let us pray to the lord through, through the, the ministry, ministry of, of the, the angels, angels bless, bless us o lord, lord that saint raphael may console our sick and suffering brothers and sisters let us pray to the lord through, through the, the ministry, ministry of, of the, the angels, angels bless, bless us o lord. lord let us pray for an end to the pandemic that the sick be healed especially our beloved archbishop jose that those who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the ministry, ministry of, of the, the angels, angels bless, bless us, O Lord. Lord. That we may always be aware of the ministry of our guardian angels. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the ministry, ministry of, of the, the angels, angels bless, bless us, O Lord. Lord. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Creator, accept our prayers and petitions as we rejoice in the help of the glorious company of heaven gathered around this altar. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your Majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. 
and by their dignity great by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Archangels, Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my room, roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. On this feast day of the Archangels, let us all together pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be, Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We invite you to our healing rosary tonight. 
which will be hosted by the Minor Basilica and National Shrine of San Lorenzo Ruiz in Binondo, Manila. They just celebrated their fiesta yesterday. And so let us join this community as they lead the, the uh, praying of the rosary. We may we gather tonight at 9 o'clock and through our Facebook page, pray together as one community, the Holy Rosary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh.